it rejuvenates and repairs the cells, the damaged cells in your body. You see, when you when you have a broken bone, it automatically gets fixed up with the help of this plaster of Paris. Is doctor doing anything for them? Nothing. So prana shakti is one of the most important thing. But the catch here is this prana shakti can't perform these two activities simultaneously. Your digestion and healing. So we have to give some time for the digestion and healing as well. And how many of you here who takes dinner before seven or by seven? That's great, that's great. Give a huge round of applause to these ladies. Thank you, thank you so much. Because I also take before seven. So if you are taking this dinner before seven and you are switching to before seven, you know that our digestion process is directly connected with our mother son. Yes, as we are talking uh, with our friend, yes, this is directly connected with our son. As the son, when, when the son is on the top of the head, your digestion fire, your jutter and knee is at a peak. And when it gets slows down, it slowly goes down. So it's better to have dinner by seven. And the science, the study, in the science, like what are the benefits you get to have early dinner? Your skin begins to clear. You are going to have this energetic and healthy morning. And last, not the least, you'll have a deeper sleep at night. Number second, juices at the morning. Highly detoxifying juice. You know, the king of all juices. Can anybody name that? We call it king of all juices. Highly detoxifying juice. Amla. The morning. Amla. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. But you know one thing, that highly detoxifying juice of this world is as well. Can you repeat, sir? Which juice? Pra uh, uh, Asgard juice. Asgard? Asgard juice, Asgard. Safed petha. We generally, in Hindi, we call it Safed petha. In Bengali or some other language, we call it Chal Kumra. Chal Kumra. This is one of the highly detoxifying juice. So, it's better to take these juice one, you'll feel the difference. Now, the second habit, vegan, wholesome, and plant based diet. So, we need to worry. An apple seed, it will grow into a stone, into a sapling, and later then it will grow into an apple tree. But if you bury this chips, uncle chips, it will grow into an uncle. <laughs> Not uncle? Okay. It will, nothing will happen. Nothing is going to happen. So this is the dead food. So there are indications for life. This never gets rotten. Job the living food hote hai, wo kabhi sarte nahi hai. Chips. Living food, koi kuch nahi bola. Living food, sarte hai. Your mind is not here, I think. Living food, sar jaate hai. But chips, kabhi sarte nahi hai. Ye indication hai. And you won't find the living food in the TV commercials. Living food kabhi TV commercials are as three villains. If you try to minimize all these things, then you are going to have a great health. So, no to living, no to dead food, packet, tin, box. Number two, no to refined foods, maida, and number third, no to animal foods. So last, what do you choose? You pay the farmer now or pay the farmer later? Choice is yours. Now come to the third habit. Deep sleep and waking, at, waking up at 5 a.m. So how many experience this deep sleep at night? You experience. That's great. That's great. How many of you experience? You know that why deep sleep is so precious? Because in this time range, two to not two to ten to two a.m. This is the crucial hours of sleeping, and in this timing, the prana shakti removes, cleans everything. And we get a recharging time. Prana Shakti recharge our body so that we come out, wake up in the morning with energy and health. Anything happening? Okay. 
So, but there is one villain. You know, there is one villain who is robbing our sleep. Mobile phone.